Welcome to the vlog, yo. AK's in the shop getting his oil changed. We're working on this panel. So anybody that knows W9s, they know that the cup holders they come with are two different kinds. Is a wooden one, and then um, like a square one, half of this one. So I'm gonna attempt to fit this T600 one into my truck that is not made for my dash, but. So I just started sanding it so we can paint it because it, it is in a little bit of a rough shape. As you can tell here, this is all like oil and stain. So before I paint it, I'm gonna pull all this off, sand it down, and then we're gonna spray it. We're gonna make a little bracket for it. Okay, so there it is, sand it down. Just the way it looks, but we're gonna make it look good. So we're gonna use this Vinyl and fabric. This is a gloss black. They make a flat black, but I have the gloss black, so I'm like, screw it. I'll use this right now. As long as it comes out decent. Sometimes this stuff, when it's cold, doesn't want to lay out right. So I'm going to paint the side in case I got to sand it again. I think it's gonna come out really nice either way. Especially because the weather is not the greatest today. It's probably the best weather we've had in a while, but still not the best. Oh yeah, she's mint, boys. Now I just paint 50-50. You'll never have any streaks. Probably do a couple coats of this. Gonna make it look half decent. Now I'm thinking maybe I should have made the mounting posts for it first in case I gotta do anything to scratch it up. But I think we'll be alright. Right here is going to be used the most. This is going to be touched, the phone, the pens, the wallet, everything I'm going to keep there. So, there we go. Just got to turn it. Turn and burn. And this stuff actually dries really fast too. So if you're going to use this vinyl paint stuff, it's really nice. It just dries really fast. If you do your interior, this is what I sprayed my whole interior with. It uh, it does stink a little bit for a couple days, but it goes away, and then you don't actually really smell it at all. Uh oh, like I said, this is the gloss, so it's gonna dry a gloss. Uh, when I redo my interior, I'm gonna spray it with flat black. Now I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit. A couple spots I missed, like here. What are they driving around over there? There you go. Let's make it look half decent. Of course, I got cup holder inserts that go here. You guys are gonna love that. You know, I love seeing that crap. Oh yeah. She's looking really nice. Trucker AK in the building. And then Jack doing what he does best. <laughs> so. Go drying up pretty fast. Couple spots I missed. Like right there inside. All right, see you guys in a minute. All right, when AK is working on this, it's 
It's working on his underglow. I pretty much finished my uh, center console. I just need to find an ashtray for this. You can see I ran the bolt inside of there. Obviously when I put an ashtray, you won't be see that. And then when I find these caps somewhere, probably at the dealer. But man, am I glad to have this. It doesn't hit the shifter anymore. So it's great. It's pretty sturdy. Probably not really gonna keep, you know, 10 pound dumbbells in here, so it's cool. Um, it'll hold drinks and do what it needs to. So uh, we'll see what I do with everything else. I was thinking if I have a three quarter light, maybe I'll put one in here and it will shine this way. But as I told you guys before, my eyes are really sensitive. So if, oh, stupid dog. So if my eyes are really sensitive, I mean, uh, if it goes in my eyes, then I, I won't be using it, but then I'll put one here. And uh, by the way, I do have the ashtray, it's just broken. Um, I got it like that because I bought this off of a friend or his friend, whatever, so. Obviously this thing's for a brand new or newer truck with a different style dash, but um, I made it work in here. Obviously as you can tell right here, you know, this vent technically would be like in here in the other trucks and obviously my vent is like screwed into the wall. So I'm not gonna adjust all that. There's no reason to, it looks good the way it is. So that's the way we're gonna keep it. But uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely way better than this piece of crap. Right here, and those people that uh, know these trucks, they know that these come, and then you have you have a post here. So it's, a, it's like another little shelf, and it's just cut to put drinks into. And then this is bolted, I believe, to the wall, and it has a drawer that comes with it. So I dispose of all that. I painted all the wood for the time being when I did have it, but don't want it no more so now we're back to this and it looks uh stupid so bam day and night difference couldn't be happier amazing just gotta hook up the cigarette lighter thought about doing one up there too i might put the light or the cigarette lighter i don't know yet but I'm probably gonna do another cigarette lighter up there just because i need them so very nice all right so we're painting some more stuff so i got this same thing, plastic paint. This is my sleeper cab light from the inside. I'm about to spray this black too. I'm gonna show you guys our plan. What we're gonna do here. This is painted, still drying. So we got these glass lights that I'm gonna put red bulbs in. Same with this one. Uh, for now, I have amber. So we had laying around. So I'm just gonna assemble them and drill them into here equally. So should look half decent. All right, so I had these glass ones on pretty much, you know, on the other side like this. Oh. And um, I was having issues with the with these plugs, so I scrapped that whole idea, and I went with just pure red. I think it's it's just clean, and I'll figure something out for the inside as far as the white light goes. So I'll have the red; it'll look cool, and it'll always be red. So when I hit the cab lights, everything will be red, and when I drive behind my head. It'll all be red, so it'll be awesome. And I can sleep with them on because I like the red light. It's easy on the eyes. So we're gonna go and throw this up, wire it up here with the quick connects. Did it pretty clean. Shouldn't have any issues long-term wise. And uh, let's see. So let's go over there, put these on, shrink wrap them. Let's see what happens. There you have it, boys. So see, these are uh, these are glass. This one I still got to put in and popped out because these holes are so shallow. But we're going to ignore that. That's for another day. So, 
Oh man. Oh, I okay. So here's how these came out. Freaking beautiful. So I'm happy with that. Also, I didn't want to run them down straight down the line because I have friends or guys I know that did it just straight down the line. I want it to be a little different. So two are obviously straight down from each other and then one is staggered forward. So looks good. They're really bright. As you can tell, the bed's really bright. The floor. Got to clean up the vacuum. Put the couch back. But should be good at night, especially when sleeping. Everything's just gonna be bright. So just gonna finish that one. Um, I started doing this one up here. These two, but I think I'm just gonna put it back together for now. And uh, one day change it but these right here that i'm gonna put they make a they make this actual plate for watermelon lights they're gonna be just clear so i can turn them on and the whole cab is gonna be white when i need it to when i'm like doing logbook or whatever so another thing i'm gonna do for this cup holder that i put in um from underneath i'm gonna put a light more than likely the only reason i didn't put one on earlier or before I even put this thing in. I just didn't know 100% like the placement of the light, how far and where I can put it. But I figured if I put it way down there, it'll be like this one where it won't go in my eyes. So this one doesn't go in my eyes when I drive unless I'm like really leaning down and it lights up the ground really well. So this one's gonna be there to cover that. And then I'm gonna have one down there probably facing that way. So when I'm driving, it's not here going in my eyeballs. And then the whole ground should be lit up once we do the floor. The floor is going to be a brighter color. So the whole floor should light up really well. And then we'll see about putting one behind the seat over there and uh, the driver's seat back facing forward. So it should light up the floor really nice because there's a, there's a good couple spots where uh, back there you can mount like a nice watermelon light. So that's the plan for now. So anyway, the cup holder this weekend was a success. The lights up there were a success. If you guys are gonna do that, uh, that's like a, I think that's like a, what is it, a 240, I think, like a house electrical up there. So it's got a module in there that uh, makes the power stronger for like the house style lights. So you gotta cut that, get rid of that, and then just get the 12 volt here. And it's, uh, should work with the switches. Now let's see what this guy wants. I used all of it. <laughs> on what? The back of the sleeper. <laughs> oh shit. You wanna come sleep? Yeah. Come Let's see what he did. I think he messed something up. Bro, yeah. you got that in there super tight. Well, I had to, so I didn't. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's okay, I got new ones. I got a, I got a whole box of these. Well, looks better. This is gonna be the fun part. Oh, the blue tape bandit, dude. <laughs>
So now you saw what AK was doing. He's still over there cleaning up his stuff. And um, I have an issue here that we're about to do, which has to do with my broken ground down here. There it is. So it's just a quick connect. It just uh, unplugs, plugs right back in. I have no idea where I had it grounded to, but so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this nut off right here. It's been a long time coming. I'm gonna pull it off and I'm gonna put the ground, I'm gonna sand it down and put the ground right onto there. Uh, that should do it. So let's see how this goes for us. Hopefully everything is uh, smooth. All right, ladies and pervers. Got this going. Better nice. Got this going. Very good. Everything is nice. It's gonna look so good and great. And then we did this. Wired up all my underglow. It all works. Everything's like nice and loomed up. I think AK is still doing something back there. I don't know what he's up to though. Oh, where is he? He was cleaning his truck a minute ago, so we're getting ready to leave tomorrow more than likely. So that's where he left this stuff. We're getting ready to leave here tomorrow probably. We're gonna look for, uh, for some loads. We're gonna see if we can uh, find two loads headed there. Uh, down the same way, I guess. So we'll see. But, uh, yeah, happy truck is clean. And then we'll keep you guys connected on our next adventure, I guess. Oh, boy. New seats are coming. New floor is coming, as I mentioned. Just the little things, but my uh, dashboard is mostly complete. New shifter I got coming. Well, at least this part. It's going to be probably like this. I don't know if I'm going to like it if i don't then i'll probably end up painting it red or put this one back so but if anybody has this style of dash uh dashboard i guess with this cup holder or uh well the new style dashboard with this cup holder and the uh, the cigarette lighter and yeah cigarette lighter and probably those two um, caps that go there so if anybody has that holla at me i got cash app venmo zelle paypal snap cash you name it or cash debit credit so let's go see what AK is up to he's always up to no good but I'm pretty much done here so